Welcome to the next lesson, Understanding Amazon's Fees. And in this lesson, we're gonna cover three things. We're gonna learn about the various fees that Amazon charges you as a seller every time that you sell a product, how those fees play a role in your profit margin, and then how to use something called Amazon's FBA Revenue Calculator Tool. Now, there are two different kinds of fees that Amazon charges you each time that you sell a product. The first is called a referral fee. And I like to think this more of as a commission because it's a flat percentage off of each sale. And that percentage is typically 15% for almost every category on Amazon. There are a few where the percentage is slightly different, uh, but those are not very common categories. And if you do sell one of those, uh, then you're simply usually paying a less percentage, um, sometimes between 8 and 12%. But almost every category charges 15%. In addition to that, they also charge you FBA fees or fulfillment by Amazon fees. And these are the fees that Amazon charges you to store your products at their warehouse, to pick the product off the shelf, pack it up into a box, and then to ship it actually to a customer. Amazon used to split out all these fees. Uh, they would charge you, for example, a dollar to pick it, a dollar to pack it, and then a variable fee based upon the size and weight to ship it. Now they just include it and lump it all into one calculation called an FBA fee. Now, in order to calculate the profit for every sale, we actually need to know all the different costs involved in that transaction, such as the cost of your product that you pay to your manufacturer, including importing it and shipping it to Amazon, the fees that Amazon charges that we just talked about, the referral fee plus the FBA fee, plus any advertising that you might have spent. Now, we're going to go over advertising in a much later module, but I just want to remind you that at some point we do need to take advertising into account. Now, why is understanding the profit important right now? Well, that's because it's an important factor in picking our final supplier. It's not the only factor, but it is a factor we need to consider when choosing our supplier. So let's take a look of a real example of how all these fees get subtracted from the sale on Amazon. Let's imagine a product is selling for $19.99. The referral fee would be $3 that Amazon then takes. The FBA fees would be $2.42 for this item. And don't worry about how I came up with that. I'm going to show you that when we get to the tool. And then the shipping to Amazon is going to be 50 cents. Now, I mentioned something here called a 20 cent label fee because when we ship our products to Amazon, there's an option to allow Amazon to apply their own barcode sticker onto the product. For starters, we find that's the easiest thing to do, and we still do that on several of our products. So when we average in the cost of shipping that product, it's usually about 30 cents an item for something like this, plus I'm adding in an additional 20 cents that I'm going to pay to Amazon every time that they label this product. So the total shipping to, to Amazon, including the labeling fee, is 50 cents. So then, after the end of that transaction, when Amazon takes away these fees, they're going to pay us $14.07. Now, that's not our actual profit margin because we still had to pay for the product already and import that product, so we need to subtract that out. So in this example, the cost of the product plus importing it was $5.80, and that means the net profit would be $8.27, or 41%, which is a very healthy profit margin. Now let's go take a look at the FBA Revenue Calculator. One easy way to find it is to simply Google FBA Revenue Calculator. It's a lot easier than typing in that long link you see below, and it's actually easier than trying to search for it inside of Seller Central. We've also made it easy for you by including it as one of the links inside of the ASM Resource Workbook. On the spreadsheet that Rich Henderson was just working for your product opportunities, you'll notice that the column headings for FBA Revenue Tool Profit is actually a clickable link that'll take you right to the FBA Revenue Calculator. Now, there are several things you'll need before using this tool, so let's go over those right now. The first you need is the ASIN or the unique identifier of a product sold on Amazon. For this example, we would use the ASIN of a competitor's product, one that's very similar to the one that we're looking to sell, in order for Amazon to accurately know the size and weight of that product. Then we also need to know what the selling price is that we plan on selling the product for. Uh, again, the 20 cent FBA label service fee that I mentioned earlier, the estimated product cost, the estimated shipping cost from the supplier, and then I have an asterisk by those because we don't have those right now, but we're going to get the real cost later. We'll just estimate those while we're researching our suppliers. So let's actually go in and use that tool right now. So here I am on the revenue calculator tool. Uh, you can see up here I have my market selected. I'm in the U.S. right now. Uh, if you're in the U one of the European marketplaces, you would Google for the European version or Japan or Indian. You'd also Google that. It will take you to your own version of this, but they all work exactly the same. Over here is where you would type in the ASIN of the product, if you know that, 
If you don't know it, you can also search for a product. So let's imagine we're searching for pruning shears. Hit search. It'll pull up several products. Here is the one that I want to use because this is the one that's closest to the product that I'm going to source and sell. And the important reason for that is because Amazon knows the dimensions of it. They know how big it is. They also know how heavy it is. And that way they can calculate exactly what their FBA fees will be for this product and therefore what they would be for a product that I would sell because it's going to have almost the exact same dimensions. Now, we're always going to use the right-hand column called Amazon Fulfillment. You can completely ignore your fulfillment over here. That's only if you're looking to do a comparison between shipping products yourselves versus using Amazon. We always, always recommend using Amazon's fulfillment for many, many reasons. Um, but So we're going to use that over here. So we're going to enter in the price of the product, which is $19.99. Then we'll enter in the other costs that we know of, shipping to Amazon, including the $0.20 cent labeling fee. So that's $30 plus $20, which is $0.50. Cents. And then we enter in the cost of the product, including importing that product to us, and that is $5.80. And then all we need to do is click Calculate. And Amazon does all the calculations over here. Here's their selling on Amazon fee, or that referral fee of 15%. Here are their FBA fees right there. I'll put in one field, $2.42. It subtracts all those. And then this number right here, the 1407, that is actually what Amazon is going to pay us every time that we make a sale. Now, we know that that's not our true profit margin. We have to deduct the cost of the product, which we entered there. And therefore, our net profit is $8.27, which comes up to a net margin of 41.37%, which is a very healthy profit margin. Now that you know how to use this tool, you can use it anytime you want to while we're doing the supplier research to get a very good estimate of what your true profit margin will be for your product. So that's it for this video. Now head on over and I'll see you in the very next lesson.